Hey, what's going on guys? Today I wanted to continue our amendment series on a few other ones that, number one, lime I get talked a lot about and same way with kind of garden sulfur. Um, first thing with lime, okay, so I hear a lot of other stores, you know, like a Home Depot or something like that, when somebody comes in there and asks, oh, what do I need to get for my garden? Their number one thing is, oh, just throw some lime on it. Lime, believe it or not, it's not a fertilizer. All lime is really there for is to help to increase your pH levels. So let's say you've got some very acidic soil, whether it's on your lawn, whether it's in your outdoor garden, anything like that. If it's super acidic, well, your plants aren't going to uptake those nutrients that are there. So a, a person that doesn't really know a lot about gardening, they're like, oh, just throw some lime on it. I've been told lime works for everything. Like I said, it is not a fertilizer. All it is going to do is help to increase the acidity or increase the pH of your soil. Keep it from being acidic to more on a base level so that way your plants can absorb your nutrients. Now don't get me wrong, calcium or uh, lime does have calcium and it has magnesium in it. But it's only just that source. That's all it is. It's just trace minerals and it's going to raise your pH. So when somebody tells you just throw lime on it, don't consider that to be a nutrient. All that's going to do is help to increase the pH. And if there are nutrients already in that soil, and if it's so acidic, that lime will help to increase it to make your plants uptake those nutrients. Now, keep in mind, Lime can take anywhere from one to two years before it's completely broken down. So I know a lot of people want to try it on your on your lawn. It's perfect, you know, but you're not going to see immediate results. It's going to take a good year or so. So I would apply that stuff early on in the season, and then expect it next year. Like so, let's say January, February, and by that following year, then you should start to see a pH fluctuation. Uh, typically, I'd tell you how much to use, but it really depends on the acidity of your soil. I mean, I've seen some studies where it's 1 to 200 pounds. I've seen anywhere from 2 to 500 pounds. So really, if you're trying to apply lime, you need to check the pH of your soil and then figure out from there how much do I need to apply to get it to where I want it to be. Because you can't apply too much lime. Too much lime will increase your pH so high that your plants, you'll be in that same situation where your plants are at a high level of pH that they just can't break down and absorb those nutrients that are there. That's why, you know, we've talked about before, you know, 5.5 five to 6. 4 is the perfect range for your plants to absorb any of those nutrients that are there and they're going to be available. Now, sulfur on the other hand, uh, doing some research, they say that sulfur could be the fourth major nutrient. So you've got your nitrogen, your phosphorus, potassium. Well, sulfur is that one that's not talked about a lot, but still is important to your plants. Uh, sulfur will actually help with the production of chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is that nice, happy green stuff that are always in your leaves. And what that does is helps to make your plants produce different sugars, produce different enzymes, produce different natural occurring things that are going to help your plants absorb that nutrients. Um, also, sulfur is going to lower your pH. Unlike lime that's going to raise your pH, sulfur will help lower it. Uh, a lot of people grow in blueberries and different like rhododendrons and things like that that like lower acidity. Sulfur will help you to lower that. Now, on top of that, one thing that um, gets confused in there. So most of your nutrients that you have are going to have traces amounts of sulfur anyways. It's very, very hard to get a sulfur deficiency. If you get a sulfur deficiency, it looks just like a nitrogen deficiency, unfortunately. You have smaller, spindly looking leaves, your stems and stalks stay really small and narrow. So you could, it could be either or, you know, especially if you're growing in your garden, it, it most likely it's going to be a pH issue. Um, it's really hard for your plants to eat up all your micronutrients, especially or your macros, especially if you're feeding them your plant food every single year. Now, let's say you're not feeding them anything. You could have several deficiencies out there. But if you're feeding your plants food and they're still looking deficient, most likely it's always a pH issue. That's why I had, you know, a video that we dived into pH and why it's important. But Sulfur will help your plants to uptake there. And like I said, again, it will lower your pH. So it's always great. Check your pH levels before we use either of those. Even though you're told, oh, just throw some lime on it, you might not necessarily need that lime. You know, your pH might be through the roof that you've been using lime over and over every single year. And with it taking one to two years to break down, you could have some soil pH level that's eight, eight and a half and you're not really noticing it, but your plants aren't performing like they want to perform or like you would like them to perform. Most likely it's a pH issue. But again, sulfur lime, they're great things. Don't get me wrong, they are great to add, 
but you need to know when you need to add them because neither one of them are really a fertilizer, especially your lime. It's more there are some trace minerals, but it's not going to feed your plants. It's just a pH balancer. Sulfur, it's not a nutrient, but it does help chlorophyll production and things like that, and it will also lower your pH. So just keep in mind, next time, check your pH. If you, if you don't know what's going on, they have these cheap little test kits. They're between $8 and $10. You take a little bit of your soil, you add water to it, put the pill in there, shake it up, and it changes your color. That's going to give you an idea of range whether, okay, do I need to add lime? Do I need to add sulfur? All right, guys, just a quick takeaway on these guys. Uh, great nutrients, uh, or not nutrients, but great things to put in your garden to adjust those pH levels. All right, guys, I appreciate it. Y'all don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a good one.